I'm Hampton Neighborhood News reporter Cole Terranstad on the south island of the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel, where Wednesday afternoon Mary the Tunnel Boring Machine made her final breakthrough for the new HRBT tunnels. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin and U.S. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy were on hand to mark the occasion. My friends, what a day. Speaking before the breakthrough, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin recalled a statement he said was made when the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel was built in the 1950s. There was a statement made that I think should be made again today. That statement was very clear. With this bridge tunnel, we have destroyed distance and conquered time. You guys did a lot of the work. The taxpayers here did a lot of the work. And so our role supplements, it helps. It's, an, it's important to complete the project, but you all took a stand and you all led yourself for how you want to change your community. I wish not to just follow you, Governor, and your leadership, but if people would follow what you've done in this community, that's how you do projects. The new tunnels will double the amount of cars that can drive on the HRBT and are expected to significantly reduce traffic. We're excited, very excited. It's going to make a huge difference in commerce and people's lives. Aside from the cost to build the tunnels, the tunnels will also cost you to drive through them. They'll be told with the rate changing based on demand. That toll is necessary to control the use of that express lane. So that toll will continue in perpetuity because the network portions of it were built under previous legislation that require us to ensure that riders on that express lanes network will always have a 45 mile per hour trip. The tunnels are expected to be ready to use in the spring of 2027. Colter Anstad, WGKR News 3.